Okay. One thing today to make yourself feel better is make that bed. It's getting difficult sometimes. Hey you guys, so it's been a little while since I've done a vlog or done any recording. It's probably been like a week. Um, Caleb is a week old now. And um, we're just like trying to get into a routine and things like that. It is currently 12, 11 a.m. Um, he's trying to go back to sleep. I just gave him some milk. So I am breastfeeding. That's the only milk that he's drinking is the, um, is my breast milk. However, for like these past couple of days, nursing him has been excruciatingly painful. Like literally just now I wanted to cry. This has the, been the worst that I felt when nursing him. So I just gave him a bottle of milk. He's getting a little fussy right now, but I am going to go ahead and burp him and swaddle him and put him back to bed. And then I am going to try to get some sleep. All right, so it is now 1229. He is fed, burped, changed, and sleeping. So now mommy can get some rest. Okay, y'all, so my mom is changing Caleb and putting new clothes on him, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up our room. If you're wondering why there's a towel on the bed it's because again my boobs leak milk while i'm sleeping so i just use that for like a little extra protection some little disinfectant on the bed i don't know if it's good or not but it just makes me feel better <laughs>
all right y'all so i just made the bed as you can see changed my sheets and i am feeling so much better just by doing that one little bit so if you could just do one thing today to make yourself feel better is make that bed is make the bed it's really making the bed so, so while i was trying to finish cleaning up my boobs started leaking so that means that i need to pump so then i pumped and i ate food and now i'm trying to debate if i should take a nap since caleb is already sleeping or if i should finish cleaning you really do have to sleep when they sleep because i'm 12 a.m to 7 a.m we're up it's getting difficult i'm tired what to do what to do what to do all right so we are preparing for bed and yes, I have him laying on my bed. I was not about to change his diaper, but I see that he has peed, even though he was just changed. So I'm going to go ahead and change his diaper. And then we're going to put on the... Um... Hi, boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Yeah. Like he's gaining weight. I can already tell. Um but he has to be. So when he was born he was five pounds ten ounces. So he has to be six something right now. Um I just see it in his little face. So he about to turn up on me, putting on clothes. And he really don't like being on his back. So the fact that he is on his back and ain't making no noise is good. But it's about to be short-lived because he about to turn up. Oh, I see it. Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday, because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, or is it Thursday, I don't know, but it's 1 a.m., and your boy is up, he has the hiccups, he's been very fussy tonight, but it is what it is, it's 1 o'clock, let's see, hey y'all and welcome back to my channel i'm just going to be doing um a vlog we're not doing much of anything it's um evening time it's like seven o'clock oh being a new mommy has really gotten me 
out of filming and recording and things like that. Um, but I'm just going to take you guys along with me for the evening and we'll just see kind of like what happens. I am actually going to pump after I um, put him down in a second. I'm going to pump some milk and prepare for our night shift. So between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. we are up. Um, so I try to go to bed about 9-ish to give me three hours of rest before our night shift. I'm going to leave him like this while I go pump. When I say go pump, I'm literally just sitting on my bed and pumping. I'm not leaving him in the room by himself or anything like that. So after pumping, I forgot to pick up the camera. So I am sorry, you guys. This is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.